Welcome to Mom's Manic Monday, and today I have something really exciting. It is Courtly Jester from The Way to Wonderland. She is a special edition doll. Um, so everybody after the The Way to Wonderland movie was like, oh my gosh, Courtly needs a doll. Ever After Hive got on that and said, here you guys go, and of course we had to grab her up because she was one of my favorite characters in the movie. I know everybody was like, oh, she's a bad guy, da 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 All right, so Ever After High got right on this and said, here you guys go, here is the doll, and she's one of my favorite characters from the Way to Wonderland um, movie, and everybody's like, hey, she's a really big bad guy, I don't like her, whatever. You know, with Ever After High, you just never know what's going to happen because you get to choose your own story. So, all right, so I'll tell you a little bit about her. So she is in the Way to Wonderland box. It's shaped a little different. The clock looks a little warped. Um, if you go look at our Maddie video, I'll leave a card up there for it. Um, the boxes for those were like more rounded, and this one's kind of like curvy and misshapen, so I thought that was a cool detail that they did here. Um, but yeah, the, the artwork's a little different in the back. It's more of a like pastel colors when the other ones were like more vibrant and bright. Um, so she's the daughter of the Joker card, and um, here's the back to this. I'll let you guys look at that, and then I'll I'll go into a little more detail about that. All right, so it says Courtly Jester, clever, smart, and unpredictable. Courtly Jester has always been a wild card. While others knew their story, Courtly had no role and felt left out of the deck. Tired of never being taken seriously, the Wonderland Joker eventually took powers as Vice Principal of Wonderland High. But now she wants nothing more than to be a student at Ever After High. So help choose Courtly's story. So there's different cards on the bottom here and it says what food is most fab fa fabulous, what is the most spellbinding fashion accessory, and what is what's your enchanted pet. So you get to like choose the little answers for those. So it is a series on Netflix, you can go check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get her open. And we did get this from Toots Toys. Um, they are really great about getting stuff shipped to you. <laughs> Ash always laughs at his Toots Toys. They're able to get these dolls in quickly and get them shipped out to you before any of the stores for us because we never can find anything and it, it's, I'm really thankful to them that they offer that service. I'm willing to pay a little bit more to have them in my hand when we usually can't find them at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get her open for you guys and I'll be right next. She's out of the box. So what we have here is Corley, and she's really cute. So she didn't really come with a diary. She did come with this, um, her own little Joker's card that has um, the Joker's rules on the back. So it says, rules of the Joker card, as the Wonderland wild card, Courtly may come into play at any time. When joining a game, Courtly secretly changes into any character of her choosing. If caught impersonating another character, Courtly must leave the game and return to the deck. So that's very interesting and pretty cool. So she did came, come with this stand. Um, it's just your basic Ever After High mold. Um, and it's gold, so that's really awesome because some of these dolls don't come with the stands. And she also came with a cool brush. Um, she had a little bit of case of the box hairs, but I just fluffed that up. All right, so let's take a closer look at her. So she's got the basic Ever After High face, um, but she's got like purple, like those like menacing like evil eyebrows which is pretty cool and she's got the diamond over her eye and my camera guy is down here laughing at me um and her makeup is just very soft and then she's got her red lips and some rosy cheeks and i really like how they did her hair so it, it is pretty gelled um, but for her hair, hairstyle, I don't really see any other way that they could have done it. And it actually works. It's pretty, um, it is tied down with a little purple, um, bit of string there. But it's blonde. It's platinum blonde with, uh, purple streaks going through it. Um, I don't remember that you could see her hair too much in the movie, but I was looking at it on the box and, um, they did decide to put her a little ponytail in, which I think that make, gives her a little bit more. Because, I mean, if you... T take her hair down or whatever and play with her. I mean, she's gonna need some good bit of hair. And then she's got her cute little jester hat on. All right, so my camera dude here, 
has had a doll mal malfunction so I have to stop in the video to help her out because she's playing while I am reviewing. So this little shoe will not go on this girl. What? Now back to my mom's manic Monday. <laughs> Um, so she's got her little jester hat with her headband. Um, it is attached with those little plastic doodads that they put them in the box. I left those on there. Um, uh -oh. <laughs> um, she's got her little court jester cowl on, which is really cool. And you can take it off in the back, as you can see. It just kind of just spreads around her shoulders and pops right off. Um, I really like her dress that she has on. It kind of looks like your little classic deck of cards and then it's got these little poofy sleeves on the side here. Um, I, you've heard me complain about this a million times. Monster High does it too. They're hands. Stop painting their hands. Just stop. Just don't even worry about putting gloves on them at all. Just stop doing it. I do, they have learned a little bit because you can take her hands off and get her cuffs off, but the hands are still painted. And guess what they're starting to do now? So stop doing this too. Painting their pantyhose on. Just don't even put any on them. Problem solved. Problem solved. Um, along with her cowl, she's got the little matching belt. Um, and then the matching belt and then she's also got one here that is a clock which is really cool and just adds a lot of detail um her shoes i love her shoes um i love those the heelless shoes those are really awesome um one is taller than the other and that makes her a little more wacky because she is a jester um and then she's got like a little bow wrapped around this one which you can take off so you can take her other boot off so they did an awesome job on this doll i really really like it um i know a lot of people yeah asha does too i know a lot of people were having some issues with her um and didn't care for her or whatever i'm glad that ever after high decided to to make her into a doll and i think they did a really good job other than the gloves and the pantyhose that thing, that stuff just kind of irritates me in dolls um we play with our dolls we actually use them and play with them so i mean we can take pantyhose on and off or gloves whatever but if you're if you decide to paint them and you can't get them on or off it just just don't eat just don't eat so yeah, that kind of wraps up my mom's Manic Monday. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Periscope, and Twitter, all at Girls That Got A Geek. And make sure to click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you guys next time. Bye! You never know with Monster High. What? I'm missing my plate. I said Monster High again. I um I'm missing the blue plate with the cookie on it. My camera guy is busy in the floor playing, and she has lost a piece of her toy that she was playing <laughs> with. Oh well, I guess that one cookie is gonna be a rogue cookie. Rogue cookie. Hashtag Omnid. rogue cookie. <laughs>